Have you ever zoned out into the dream world during a boring class? And suddenly came back and whispered to your friend what did the professor say? You must have definitely some time or the other thought of winning a billion dollar lottery and what all will you do with all that money? We all have done that and it is fun. This as we all know is the beautiful micro vacation for our brain called daydreaming. So, what is maladaptive daydreaming? In simple terms it is when the fun and creative daydreams become too much and harmful for us. A really good example is the 2013 Hollywood movie The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Let's talk about its symptoms, and how to distinguish between a normal daydream and a maladaptive daydream. For Psyche's Sake presents. What is maladaptive daydreaming? And how to recognize it? It is a psychiatric phenomena coined by Professor of Psychology Eli Summer. Maladaptive daydreaming is described as behavior where a person spends a large and excessive amount of their time daydreaming, sometimes for hours, and is often very immersed in the dream world. Individuals who do such intense daydreaming tend to lose themselves in these extremely detailed and vivid dream worlds. Researches have shown that this kind of daydreaming is compulsive in nature. Which means that it is very difficult if not impossible to keep a check and prevent these. Research suggests that maladaptive daydreaming occurs in people who are suffering from mental health issues like ADHD, depression, anxiety disorder or OCD. It is also developed in people who are going through or have gone through abuse, trauma or even extreme isolation and loneliness. It is developed in them as a coping mechanism, an escape from their harsh reality. When fantasy seems a much better place than the real world. So, how to know whether that dream world trip you took during your lecture or during a meeting was just a regular daydream, or maladaptive daydream? 1. Extremely vivid daydreams. When you have a normal daydream you might see yourself taking a dragon ride like the Targaryens. Or simply of playing a football game, but you know it is a dream all along. On the other hand, maladaptive daydreamers have extremely detailed and vivid daydreams with their own storyline, with detailed plot, characters, setting and more. These dreams feel so real to them that they could mistake them for real-life events and memories. 2. Daydreaming for a long period and blacking out. Daydreams usually last for a few minutes or few seconds, and once it is over we are able to tell that we drifted off into the dream world for a few moments. And most of the time you are able to tell it was two to three minutes. And sometimes you find that it is one or two minutes more than what you thought it was, but it doesn't come a surprise. You shake it off and get back to work. Whereas maladaptive daydreamers while daydreaming, totally close off the real world and are living their life in their head. They completely lose the sense of real life time and dive deep into their daydream, sometime for hours. Sometimes they might start while the sun is out and by the time the daydream ends they find it is night, and they are wondering, where did the time go? It is really hard for them to focus on work, and as there is very little awareness about it, it is often mistaken for them being absent-minded and forgetful. 3. Acting out the daydreams. Have you seen someone smile for no reason, or making faces for no reason? Well that is our everyday normal daydreamer, sometimes we react with facial expressions to the daydreams. Now what if you see someone talking out loud to the air, or trying to grab something or shake hands when no one is actually there? You will most likely think that this person is crazy. But no, this person is most likely not crazy but is in a maladaptive daydream. Maladaptive daydreamers completely lose the sense of where they are in the real world, and the difference between the dream and reality is lost to them, and they start to live the dream literally. 4. Addictive desire to keep the daydream going. Maladaptive daydreamers often find themselves lost somewhere. They don't know what's happening around them, or rather they don't want to know. For them, daydreaming is like a drug, they know it's harmful and is taking a toll on their life, but still they can't help the addictive desire to keep it going. It's like drug addicts who might have started taking the drugs to escape their harsh reality, but now can't stop using even when things get better. But maladaptive daydreaming is arguably even more addictive, as unlike substance drug addiction, which can be treated over time with proper medication and care. There is no set treatment to completely get over the addiction of maladaptive daydreaming. But that does not mean it is hopeless, with proper attention and therapy it is possible to reduce the occurrence and duration of such daydreams and greatly help the person to manage boundaries between the real world and the dream world. 5. Trouble focusing on daily tasks. Let's say you are in a boring lecture and you zone out into the dream world. 
And suddenly you shake off the daydream and realize you missed what the professor was saying for the past minute to two. You whisper to your friend what the professor said, and then you come back to the lecture in the real world. But on the other hand in the maladaptive daydream you might just skip the entire lecture and don't even realize when it ended, or what the lecture was about. And this happens to them all the time, these daydreams can trigger any time. Anything can act as a trigger, like when they listen to their favorite music. Or they see their crush whom they are scared to approach. Or when they are feeling unhappy, or unconfident. Or they are simply just bored. Different triggers are linked to different genres of daydreaming. And hence it severely affects their ability to focus and concentrate on the daily tasks. 6. Trouble sleeping. This constant, compulsive and addictive nature of maladaptive daydreaming makes it hard for the person to go to sleep. The areas of the brain associated with sleep keep on being active, as you are not able to stop the daydreams and give your brain the calmness it needs to fall asleep. Usually a person suffering with maladaptive daydream can be in bed for hours before falling asleep. Often this incomplete sleep and insomnia keeps the brain tired which makes it even easier for the brain to slip into daydreams while awake. This further creates a bad cycle. Being tired and exhausted can help them to fall asleep quicker. If you like movies and enjoy the topic, check out the 2013 Hollywood movie The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, it really gets the topic and is a fun watch. If you are experiencing maladaptive daydream, or know someone who might be, it is time to address it and take back control. And please don't hesitate to reach out to a professional for help and advice. If you find the video helpful be sure to hit the like button and share with friends. For more videos like this hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the bell icon so we can notify you when a new video comes up. And as always, thanks for watching.